Basically, I had saline implants done. They were fantastic, perfect. So then I decided to basically upgrade to silicone. That's when all the major problems really started to arise. All right, so and what happened? You had capsule contracture, then what did they do? He gave me the capsulectomy and he put the implants right back in. Yes. After the silicone implants, then you were fine, and then you started developing capsular. Yeah, within just a couple months. Capsular contracture of the breast is when you have a capsule around the implant, starts to scar, gets to, gets hard, and starts to move the implant in a certain direction. So you went from soft, to perfect, slightly ripply totally salines to capsular contracture with silicone. Multiple, multiple times. It could actually cause pain. It obviously causes a physical deformity of the breast and it can actually destroy the breast and make it look absolutely horrendous. So what I ended up doing was going and seeing a doctor in New Jersey. Yes. And he said to me basically, if you were my wife, yeah. I would tell you to take these implants out and let yourself heal for six months. So he took the implants out, then yes. what happened? And I'm here. Oh, that's what you have right now? Yeah, I had them taken out. There are essentially two schools of thought regarding scar tissue formation after breast implant surgery. One is you take the implants out and you put them in in a relatively short period of time to prevent the skin and soft tissue from contracting down. The other is that you wait a longer period of time to allow the tissue to heal. I was supposed to wait about six months right. to go back and put them back in and then I got afraid. Like I was kind of scared. Most surgeons now think it's better to do it sooner rather than later to prevent the problem that exactly Dana has.